Hello YouTube, I'm Pilot Stud and welcome to the review of this Aerimachi MB339er by India Foxtrot Echo. Let's get into this video. Today I'll be taking a look at this payware aircraft that I have to say is the best payware aircraft for Microsoft Flight Simulator so far. The attention to detail is amazing. Now this is an Italian training fighter jet or light attack aircraft and it is modelled very well in the sim. I'll be taking a look at a lot of details in this aircraft today but I can't have a look at everything because that would be a long video. It's a study level aircraft. It's been built from scratch and the developer has done a fantastic job so thank you to him. I should also say that Dino, the developer of this aircraft, gave me a press copy to review but it's my own opinion. You guys probably have your own opinion on it just from looking at it, I have to say it is marvellous. If you're new here be sure to like, comment and subscribe, I do flight training videos, flight sim videos, trip reports and a lot more so if you love everything about aviation you've certainly come to the right place. But now let's hop into this aircraft, we're going to take off from here at RAF Lake and Heath, maybe do a circuit or two and then I'll give you my final impressions. Ok so we've got the canopy open at the moment, you guys probably can hear it is very loud. Um, I've actually had to turn down my headphone volume because it is so loud it goes into my microphone. Now the developer has made a fantastic manual for this aircraft, I believe it's about 65 pages long and has many high detail diagrams and checklists in there. Now the startup on this was relatively simple to be fair, battery generators, all of that and in the startup switch basically very nice easy to start. We're now going to close the canopy and take a look. Okay, so the canopy's coming down now. It's a bit slow, it's a bit clunky. I don't know why that is, but I'm sure uh, that's probably just my computer, if I'm being completely honest. And you can see the level of detail is very nice. Our GPS is off for some reason, so let's get that on. And there we go, GPS is now on. It looks very nice. Lighting is very nice, throttle looks great. You've already seen the instrument panel turn on when we were getting started up at the start of this video on my little b-roll. It does look very good. We're now going to take off and see how it flies. Now because this is a training aircraft, of course we've got two seats. We've got our friend in the back there and their heads do move. That's a very nice feature. It does look very realistic. Okay, so we've got the canopy locked now. We're now ready to get up in the air and see how this bad boy flies. Okay, so now we're up in the air after that wonderful takeoff. I thought it would be time to do some aerobatics. After all, this is a fighter jet or a training jet, so I hope you're going to be doing a lot of aerobatics, uh, whether intentional or unintentional. So I think the first thing we're going to do is a manoeuvre called the stall turn. That's basically where you pitch completely up, allow the aircraft to stall, and then use your rudder to flip out. So let's do it. Okay, so I had some trouble getting into that manoeuvre, but now we can use the rudder to push ourselves out, aim the nose towards the ground there is Mildon Hall and once we get high enough speed we can pull ourselves out. Ok so that was a nice manoeuvre, we didn't really do it properly but you guys got the point. Uh, let's do an aileron roll now, so most people call it a barrel roll but it is actually called an aileron roll so it's what you think it is really. Yep, it handled it nicely, as you'd expect. There is a little bit of lag occasionally, but that is because I'm going so fast. Right, my computer is struggling to keep up and load in all the buildings. There is a lot to do. We're now going to basically enter some sort of circuit for Mildenhall and try and land. I will apologise, this landing is not going to go well. I have very little experience in this aircraft. This is my second flight today, so it's not going to go well, let's be honest. So my impressions in cruise, it climbs very well, it's a nice aircraft to fly, very forgiving, feels very nice, uh, the instruments, I don't know what that blurriness is there, can you see that, I think that might be my uh, graphics card kind of failing because I do have that with clouds as well, I'm not too sure if I'm being completely honest. Milden Hall is to the right of us right now, looking very nice, we're going to turn round uh, onto base and then onto final and see how we can do. 
Okay, so we're now on final approach at Milden Hall. I've had to swap runways purely because I couldn't land at the other one. But I feel more confident with this landing, hopefully. We're at a good, a good enough speed. Could do with a little bit more power, but it's coming along shortly. We're nice and straight, we're nice and level, good height. Everything is ready for a good landing, really. Now, I do really like this aircraft. It is very smooth. You can see we've lost that weird reflection bug now. It just comes and goes, really. It must be my computer, so I apologise about that. Now most buttons in this aircraft work as you've seen throughout this video and all the gauges do as well. I haven't tried any proper navigation systems such as the GPS, ILS or VORs yet because I haven't had time if I'm being completely honest. But we've seen the opening canopy, the beautiful gear lever, the nice looking thrust lever and everything else in between really. It is a really nice aircraft. Once we touch down I'll talk about my opinions of it all. We are slightly high but we're at a good speed so uh, we can sort that one out. Slowly reduce now. Don't not too sure what's happened with my artificial horizon. I just noticed that it's been working good all day. Maybe I haven't turned something on. Right, we're not very level, but oh well. We can correct ourselves. 100 knots. Good speed. Flare. Flare, flare, flare. We're floating a bit. We're floating. There we go. We're on the ground. Bit of a bounce, bit of a bounce indeed. Bit wobbly, so it's a, a lot different to landing airliners. It's not so heavy, it's quite a bit lighter, but what can I expect? So we're going to taxi off to a stand somewhere now, or an apron, and we're going to talk about the pros and cons of it. I really like it, if you couldn't tell. Now with this add-on, you get two aircraft. You get the aerobatic version as well, the MB339 Pan. All this does is removes the drop tanks, or whatever they're called, from the side of the wings and puts them under the wings. You've also got this collection of liveries for the default attack version very nice all the way from the Italian Air Force to other air forces So there we have it, we've done takeoff, landing, and some aerobatics and everything in between really. Let's talk about the pros and cons of this very nice aircraft. So first of all, it is almost study level, I'd actually say it is study level, but I know someone in the comments will say it's not, it's missing a feature, uh, so I'm just going to say it's not for that reason, but I really like it, the developer has done a fantastic job on it, I am really blown away. For me, it is certainly a step up from any fighter jet in any float simulator, minus DCS, I believe we did have this aircraft in DCS, so I'm not too sure there, but I think they did. It does look amazing, there's plenty of liveries for it, not just the Italian Air Force. The head movement in the cockpit is a very nice feature, adds to the realism. Opening canopies are always nice, we just need an ejector seat. If you could get that working, that would be so fun. It's the perfect aircraft if you want to do some aerobatics or some intercepting. It is the best fighter jet, or close enough to a fighter jet, we've had from Microsoft Flight Simulator so far. And for £18, I can't recommend it enough, it is an amazing add-on. The link is in the description if you want to buy it. I cannot recommend it enough. I really like it. I'm going to be doing so many flights in this. It only works on modern flight models, so if you're on Legacy, be sure to turn that off. It does not work at all on there. Very smooth at cruise, but quite sensitive, so watch out for that one, guys. The attention to detail is immaculate. It is a perfect aircraft. And while there's still things to be done, they are working on it. This is by far the best payware aircraft we've had in Microsoft Flight Simulator so far. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. I do videos like this all the time. Thanks to all my captains as always. If you'd like to find out how to become a captain, go on to my Instagram or Discord. It's all on there. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done already. But from me today, that is all guys. Have a fantastic day. Bye bye.